One of the people I got to know that summer I happened to be writing a book with Jim March in the room next door to where we were doing all these experiments. I was doing the experiments, and Jim and, and a guy named Herb Simon were writing a book, the famous book called March and Simon Organizations. Uh, so I got to know Herb, and uh, uh, and 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 got not only got to know him, but got to realize that this is totally extraordinary person. I mean, this is not your ordinary person you meet. This is a remarkable person. And even a young kid like me got to know that. I got to feel that. Well, Herb was giving a course in um, Carnegie, Mel Carnegie Tech had semesters, and he was giving a two-semester course called Mathematical Models in the Social Sciences. If you read Herb's autobiography, he, t he tells the story of that fall as a fall in which the ideas, the first, the ideas of the first heuristic program are coming together. Newell moved to, Newell moved to Pittsburgh in September, I believe it was September of, of uh, 1955. They they met each other when Simon was consulting for Rand. Uh, Simon was a management science and operations research consultant, uh, occasional consultant at Rand, and met Newell. Newell was doing this uh, decision making having to do with uh, uh, air traffic control, well, not, not nope. civilian air traffic control, mm -hmm. but military radar mm -hmm. stuff. I was saying, uh, Simon writes about this period in his autobiography, and he mentions a specific date, December 15th, 1955, as the date when it all came together. And what does it mean to come together? It means that they actually put together a paper, on paper program, he and Newell, uh, which quickly got implemented in a language called IPL1, which was not a language that ran on any computer. It was um, mm -hmm. the first list processing language, but it ran in their, in their heads. Okay. And uh, it was sort of tested on a, on a group of uh, <laughs> students and other faculty who sat in a big classroom, and, and when certain decisions came around, they would raise their hand, you know, go down this branch. And, Perfect way to study behavioral uh, models of human beings, too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So um, then that then it was Christmas break, December fifteenth. Mm -hmm. Meant we're in the middle of it was just starting or in the middle of Christmas break. Um, we get back from Christmas break and we had a few weeks left in the semester uh, before uh, uh, the semester ended. So her, so we were still going to class. So Herb Herb walks in to our seminar. Incidentally, the seminar was like six people. Mm -hmm. I don't exactly remember who was in the seminar, but I was. So it's not huge. Uh, he walks in and he says um, these famous words. Uh, Over Christmas, Alan Newell and I invented a thinking machine. Uh -huh. Well, that just blew the minds of a thinking machine. What could he possibly mean by that? Well, we sort of knew what thinking was. But what does he mean by machine? And what does he mean by thinking machine? So in answer to that, Herb just gave us a um, 701 manual. <clears throat> or a, a copy of a 701. I don't know. Anyway, he had a 701 manual. He gave us all. Mm -hmm. And he says, that's what I mean by a machine. And he sort of went into this general idea of what he meant by thinking by machine. And uh, I don't remember much details about that lecture or that seminar discussion, but I remember taking that 701 manual home that night, having never seen a computer before. Um, and I read the thing from cover to cover, and I remember it went all through the night. And by the time I finished reading that manual, I knew what it was I was going to do. And it had nothing to do with getting a job as an double E, like my parents wanted me to do. It, mm -hmm. it, it was stay with Simon and do more of this. Uh, so then I knew I, I needed money in the summer. Simon got me a fellowship for the fall. That was no problem, but, uh, uh, but I needed uh, money to live on. My parents didn't have that much, so uh, that meant working in the summer. Well, working IBM, that first summer program that IBM ever offered where they wanted to hire graduate students for the summer to train them up. They sent me to um, first, they sent me to uh, Watson Laboratory at Columbia University to learn the uh, 650 because by that time it was sort of public knowledge that Carnegie Tech would be getting a 650. So as long as it was going to be getting a 650, I ought to know how to program it. Then I, that took a couple weeks, I think. 
and then they sent me back to 590 Madison Avenue where they were giving 704 classes. Uh, mm -hmm. Incidentally, at the IBM Watson Laboratory, an interesting thing that most people don't have the experience of is learning how to do wired programming, not not symbolic programming, but actually plugboards, plugboard programming. Mm -hmm. Yes, with 16 registers. Mm -hmm. uh, that was a phenomenally interesting thing for a kid, for a geek, mm -hmm. for a geeky kid. Uh, but anyway, 650 and 704, and then around the corner to the brownstone to do some real work for the summer. That's how I met Bacchus. Bacchus, for example, was uh, his group was on the fourth floor of the brownstone. And one day, and they used to have seminars for us graduate students. Once a week, somebody would come down from, from above and tell us things. And one day, Bacchus came down. Um, so somebody came down, turned out to be Bacchus. I didn't know him at the time. Came down and said to us kids, hey, you don't have to write these things CLA anymore for clear and add or 005 for add to the register. Mm -hmm. You can write algebraic formulas, and our programs will translate the formulas. Get it? Fortran. <laughs> and um, wow, this was big news to us kids. Uh, Bob Beamer came down from, uh, people don't remember Bob Beamer, but he was a fantastic programmer. He came down from upstairs somewhere and showed us tricks, all kinds of numerical tricks you could do on computers or coding tricks whereby you could save several registers in memory. And that was amazing to us kids. 